Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. For my mood board inspired project this week, I have, well, this month, for this month's mood board, there we go, my project this week is this vintage steampunk envelope ledger journal thaney ma bobber doodad right here. This thaney ma bobber doodad. I love steampunk, I love vintage, I loved this month's kits and this month's mood board. Well, I always love the kits and the mood boards, but anyhow, I decided to combine the scrapbooking kit, the envelopes, and the cards I had left from my previous projects from the Cards Tags Market and put this together. I had originally, originally tried videoing the process, the whole thing, kind of like a tutorial, but it took so much time for me to think through what I was doing. I don't even know how well I could do that. Anyhow, it was getting, it was getting really out of hand there. So I'm just going to go over what I did here, uh, how I put it together and things like that. This is the finished project if you remember in February's mixed media kit there were a wide variety of texture pastes and three of the ones in there were a yellow brown and red rust effect paste so I did use that to rust up this this side so far um I was saving it I saved this I'll show you kind of what I did for that rusty edge effect there yeah when I get to the end just just to kind of go over that a little bit I did a lot of jelly printing for my uh for the cards for the tapes I cut three quarter inch strips this is the wood grain embossed wood grain from the cards tags and more kit the craft stock with the wood grain emboss on it. Uh, it has some metallic paints on it from uh, jelly printing. I used uh, some um, slotted, I, I think they're technically, they're technically called like slotted head screws. They're, they're just like what you use in post bound albums. I have some in there, that's how, I put this together if you if you think about old uh, vintage ledgers they had kind of this kind of binding on them um, but I had to add rust to mine this is just some gold trim I had just to go with that metallic of the steampunk I used it on here I have some Tim Holtz Tim Holtz hitch fasteners four of them on here uh to screw my or to to wrap my uh my to wrap my trim around there i used two of the mechanicals uh there was this pack of mechanicals in the scrapbooking kit i have two under those hitch fasteners on these two cards i have one of the mechanicals just right here on my split opening. I do have it split. Uh, this little clip is for my stash. And I did just have it split at least for, you know, you could get into kind of the top here if you really needed to just stick something in real quick. Let's see. Hitch fasteners, the Trejo Lee chipboard. From the scrapbooking kit with a variety of embossing powders on here actually a variety of uh metallic ones i do have some coppers on here i have uh i think um the bubbly from last year's mixed media kit last december's mixed media kit the holiday time i believe is where it was i do have a full list of all the products on the blog post the other the other treasurely chipboard piece is on the back side this was from the scrapbooking kit the document paper cut apart piece and 
I added some glossy accents. I added glossy accents to the top of it. And after that glossy accents had dried, I just broke it so that it looked like it was cracked enamel. And that's just the cover, which I think is more or less the most complicated part of this. I made up some covered paper clips to go in here, used scraps, uh, paper from the scrapbooking kit. I added metallic stitching. Once again, the metallic, the metallic aspect, uh, to go with that steampunk. I have these little strips here I just used to cover the backs of those hitch fasteners. I have a little flip over here. This is just, it. it's glued on, but it looks like it's just been taped in so that it kind of sticks out. These, all of these craft pieces, these craft folds, or pages, these craft pages, the half pages, whatever you want to call them, are from the Cards Tags and More kit. They are the card bases that were in the kit, and I just cut them in half so that they were all split. I used some tape that has the water reactive glue on it. It's great. That, that glue, once it's dry, I don't think it goes anywhere. It's a pretty hefty tape. I used it in some of my hinge areas to reinforce where my bins were. I have a few stampings on here. This is from a stamp in my stash. To get that kind of uneven metallic look on here, I used metallic paints and a jelly plate. Some have a little bit of stencil on there uh, from the Tim Holtz screwed stencil. Um, for, it was in a previous Treasure League kit. I'm not entirely certain right now. I think August 2019. It's been a couple years, but it was from a previous kit. I added just this little flippity flap here because I wanted to. I have some aged tape just using scotch tape, some uh, uh, self-adhesive laminate, kind of a, a vinyl-y vein um, alcohol ink to make it to make it look aged and reinforced my hinging there. Also put it on crooked, made it look like it had just been randomly taped in and taped over multiple times to hold it in place. I have more um, jelly, jelly plate printing. This is one of the envelopes from the Cards, Tags, and More kit. I did add stitching in some areas on there as well. On this section here, this section of that water reactive adhesive tape, I actually put the stitching through while it was still dry and then stuck that tape down. I have a kind of double pocket here. I just put a extra piece of the pattern paper from the scrapbooking kit in here. I used various scraps of the craft stock. Um, this is more of this water reactive adhesive tape, but before I used it, I put it on a jelly pr jelly I used it on the jelly plate also to make it have a metallic look so it looks like a metallic tape let's see just a, another covered paper clip there my little pocket this is another one of the cards from the cards tags and more kit and this one I didn't cut in half I did leave it whole it has jelly print metallic paint it has more of that jelly print uh, adhesive water reactive adhesive tape on its hinge paper clip a few extra pieces through here i added just this little flip out on here 
stamped with my uh he it's a hero art stamp it was a wood block stamp um i've had i think it was one of the first stamps i got when i scrapbooked i was like look i can stamp lines and make journaling easier but then it turns out i'm not much of a journaler anyhow it still works just pieces from the scrapbooking kit the self or the water reactive adhesive tape I used to cover because this uh, grid paper print was from I think it was either on the back of it was the bonus prints on them there we go it has like the the packaging print and then the bonus prints on the back so I used it to just cover it up because this had either the front or the back cover of the stack on it does that make sense I hope so another covered paper clip this one I created from a scrap of the scrapbook kit paper this is an envelope it was one of the envelopes from the cards tags and more kit and then i decided to cut it in half and make a couple of semi pockets the bottom pocket is a pocket on it and then i have a small slot up here stand that up for you real quick just a small slot here for smaller things to go in and then the top the pocket is on this side and it only has this pocket because being on top i didn't want you know things sticking out here it's only on the bottom one then if things go in and they stick up they would just still be in the journal in this ledger thingy here another covered paper clip more jelly printing on that uh, water reactive tape one of the cards from the cards tags and more kit cut in half again this is actually a piece of medical tape and i was experimenting with it i liked it because it has has those ridges on it i wanted to experiment see how it worked so i carefully did jelly printing on that i i stuck it to a piece of parchment paper and then did jelly printing on that just more of the same through here from the scrapbooking kit a strip i actually used for re a hinge reinforcement over on this side uh another flip out here used more of that water reactive adhesive tape to cover the packaging side of this print this was another one of those bonus prints in there this is an one of the envelopes jelly printed i have reinforced my edges on here this one is just a full strip of that water reactive tape that i used wrapped around uh i have some shipping tape down here that reinforced shipping tape that has like the threads through it same here you can actually see a little bit of that tape this was on an end that had hung off so it didn't get jelly printing on it but i left it all the same just that white shipping tape with the threads through it i jelly printed on used it to reinforce so that it looks like you know a metallic tape once again going with that steampunk theme another one of the cards from the cards tags and more kit cut in half a triple wide this is actually three i have three paper clips in here that i put in to make a wide covered paper clip it is wrapped in that bubble emboss craft stock from the cards tags and more kit i have i had put it also on the jelly print with the metallic paints and then i turned that little strip into a wide covered paper clip my reinforcements through here more of that medical tape on this side this one because the scrapbook kit cardstock is actually not as heavy weight as the cards tags and more craft stock you can see there we go my triple wide paper clips do show up a little bit better there so you can see the three in there this is just the cover envelope so there is a final pocket and that was how i at first decided on the cover is just to 
use one envelope as my cover so that I could reinforce this flap. It has scrapbook papers on it for reinforcement, reinforced out here. I have, I have multiple scores through here and multiple tapes uh, on the inside and stitching on the inside to reinforce this whole flap thing. That is, that is the overview of this project. Stick this in here somewhere. Don't really matter. And then I just did a slip knot on one of the hitch fasteners. They are not the same length. I have one that I kept just a tad longer. And the longer one is the one I use to work around all of the hitch fasteners. I'm just going to talk about my three quarter inch binding here and what I did with the rust effect paste. I will just show real quick on the back side here. I have my top layer on my binding uh, made from that wood grain embossed craft stock from the Cards, Tags, and More kit. But if you look, you can see I have those built up. They are actually kind of thick. I just used a piece of packaging. This was from the Transfer Me's from the Mixed Media Kit, the white uh, tropical flowers. And as you can see, I only have this much of that packaging left because I cut three quarter inch wide strips out of it and layered them together and glued them together until I got the thickness I was happy with. And on the back side of them, I have some of that shipping tape. See if I can kind of, there we go, that shipping tape that was jelly print metallic paint jelly printed is on the back sides of them. And then I just inked around the edges so that it wouldn't be, you know, a stark white edge sticking out. I decided uh, I don't want the shiny silver on here. Everything else is a more muted. I have, you know, the aged copper and aged brass. And I only really wanted to have my tie closure looking the newest, I guess. I, I guess would how it would be or the metallic threads. And I didn't want this shiny nickel on here. Plus, it is vintage steampunk. So I needed to age it up a little bit there. All right. So all I did is I coated I coated the metal with some clear gesso doesn't have to be all over because that paper doesn't really need the gesso it has paint on it for one thing but I did need some gesso on the metal just to just to help make sure the rust effect pastes stuck down well enough once the gesso was dry I just grabbed a few small round brushes. Does it, it doesn't matter what you use to dab it on with, I guess, whatever works for you. Um, I just like the stiff bristles and the size here. And I just dipped in. I started with the brown rust and dabbed it on. Didn't worry about waiting for it to dry. I don't have it on extra thick. So it actually starts drying relatively soon anyhow you can go onto the page make it kind of look like or go out onto the cover a little bit i did here you can see just to make it look like that rest has been spreading so after i got my brown on i moved on to the red rust and then after i had my red on how i wanted it i came in with just a touch of the yellow i didn't really go overboard with the yellow and that was all there was to it really very quick it dries quick because it's not on thick and i was able to grunge up rust up age up my binding there and there you have it finished product i hope that you enjoyed this little video and I gave you some ideas of what you can do with the Cards, Tags, and More kit and the scrapbooking kit and 
I hope that it inspires you to go out and create your own mood board inspired project. Don't forget to share your mood board inspired project in the June mood board challenge folder on the Treasure Lee Facebook page. The link to the Facebook cafe is down in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up and feel free to share this video. Thank you, and I will see you again next week.